How's it going, me Sparks? Not Sparks. I keep... <sighs> Eventually I'm going to get out of that habit. But anyways, how's it going, everybody? Shockstar here. And, uh... Last time we left off, I just finished boar hunting. And, uh, I mentioned there was a, uh, cutscene right over this ridge. Now, I have no idea if the mic picked that up, but the traffic outside is appalling. And it is, what, late at night? Well, not late, it's 10 o'clock. Oh, jeez. I love this neighborhood. Um, anyways, let's do the cutscene. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. All right, more tutorials. Uh, yep, you want me to set the art. Here we go. If you want to read along, it's up to you. But, uh, yeah. That's what I'll be doing. Oh, that's right, they heal themselves. I forgot about that. Oh no! Alright. Let's doing uh, these attacks. And with this one left... If you're wondering why I'm like just doing this, it's not intentional. I just like to tap the uh, arrow keys or the directional pad or freaking move around. There we go. <laughs> I did it. Cirrus. An exorcist art! Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. <sighs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think- I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Shh. 
Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. All right, level up. Let's see some uh, details. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. <sighs> Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Ah, time to get back. <clears throat> um, did I miss uh, items at all? No. No, I don't think I did. Except for that one. There you go. Cool. Back in the town we go. Alright, so everyone's uh, moved positions. Except for you. You've stayed there <laughs> this whole time. For groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But... We're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! Oh, sweet. Well, so you must be oh. starving by now. I'd better hurry home. Okay, so he gave me gels. I forgot he did that. 
But there's some uh, voice lines here. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, <laughs> that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> they're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. <laughs> Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road! <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms! Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Laffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that's blocked off. Can't go that way. I guess, yeah, literally only one way to go. Um, oh, don't mind if I do. Okay. Off we go. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Laffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. 
Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Lafayette. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Alright. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to check up on this. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Laffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. And then this one. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? <laughs> Alright, oven time. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. But, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Up we go. Alright, now at first, I thought it was this one here. But it's not. <laughs> it's definitely this one. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Uh, gotta go. Gotta go fast. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? 
I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you, too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Yep, time to do just that. Good boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? You little... Where have you gone? I narrow a search. You better not have gone to the village alone. Ah, uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. So what, what can I? Oh, something up there. I don't know. Either way, I won't worry about collecting more items. Ish. <laughs> Oh man. It's got gas or something. Jeez. <laughs> uh okay, let's go over here. Hey, has Luffy Set been here? Uh no. I haven't seen him. One of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Lafayette, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet, I saw Laffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Alright, well at least we've got an idea. 
Yeah, that. I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now that way is open. I feel like I should check it. Because I didn't do that last time. At least from what I remember. Could be something new. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Well, that doesn't sound menacing at all. Alright, what's it? What are you guys on about? Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. Alright. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. Alright, let's check out here. Right, there's no... Nothing new in regards to talking to people. Actually, nothing new really at all besides the group hustled around that tree stump or tree. <laughs> Not being there anymore. So, um. Yeah. Alright, we'll talk to this guy and then proceed onto the forest. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Up to the forest we go. And I'll pick you up. <laughs> now luckily he's not very far in. But we will need to go all the way through. Taking a break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. 
I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Now that's something I missed. <laughs> Tyler, like, damn. Right, here goes! Alright, so what I've noticed, right, here if you goes. fight an enemy super close to another one, um, they'll disappear until you run away beyond a certain point. I'm not totally sure why it's the best Not bad. I guess so you don't get swarmed. And I just realized there was another T. Check out what this tea is. Apple boo. How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, <laughs> we laughed so hard. Boo! Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yep, I missed all those scenes. Damn it. Oh, I'm glad I actually replayed it now. It's so good.
More fighting. Let's do this. Right, here goes. Oh, I forgot that's a mouse button too. Okay. Not bad. Now, if I remember correctly, I think it might be this one is left click as well. Like, this is right click. Pretty sure this is left. If not this one, this one. It's one of these three. That's uh, the left click combo. And I think I figured it was this one here. And this is left click. This is right click. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Personal thoughts. Um, when that actually becomes useful to me later on, when I actually start getting Come some moves. Come on, let's go to the cape! Then, um, yeah. But, right now, it's time to save. And because of that, it's time for the end of the episode. So, uh, yeah. If you guys want to see more, leave a like, comment down below if I missed anything, hit the tips, that sort of stuff. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.